Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to our Outdoors channel. In this video, I'm going to show you another speed loader to consider. The McFadden Lightning Grip 22 LR speed loader. But just like this, it kind of looks like a rifle. And this is what's going to allow us to do some speed loading. So, well, this will work with a variety of 22 LR magazines and firearms. You'll see the McFadden website link in the description below to see a complete list. Now in the past I have reviewed several easy and speed loaders and I'll put a link to those videos below. Now as a disclaimer, this is not an official or paid review nor an endorsement of this product. I purchased these products myself and I am not being reimbursed by anyone for this review. Now this is an unbiased review and evaluation of the product. We'll stick around to the end for some extras and some information you'll want to see. Also, I'll describe some of the differences and tips on adapters when buying those and other sources. And be sure to read the description below as it contains a lot of additional information, links, updates, and corrections. And check back often for updates. In these videos, you can speed up or slow down the play, pause, rewind, fast forward, and repeat a part. I click on that little gear icon down on the lower right corner of the screen to do that. So let's get to this. Okay, so in this part, I'm going to do is to go through how the speed loader works fairly quickly. Then later on, I'll get into more of the details and show you that how that works. Uh, basically, you have your speed loader here, shaped like a rifle. That's what it looks like. It's got a hopper here to hold all the rounds. And what you do is you dump your rounds in. And then you kind of shake them in place. I'll get that last one. There we go. So you can see how they're all falling into place in there. Now this hopper will hold 50 rounds. So you can fill this up with 50 rounds. That'll be enough to do like a couple of 25 round uh, magazines. So that'll be great. Now what you got to do is to pick out which adapter you want to use for putting the magazine on there to load. And so I'm going to use this Butler Creek one here for now. And the way this works, um, set these aside. This has kind of a notch here in this part. And down here, there's a button here that will catch how this goes in. And this adapter here, it's got a solid piece across here. And that goes into the top part. So, stick that into there. It kind of centers itself on there. The other one, position down here. When I push this button, it goes into place like that. Now what I'll put on is the magazine that I want to use and you got a groove kind of a thick groove in this part here and then kind of a uh, latch part on this part here. The large part of this knob here on the magazine goes into this groove. Small part goes into the latch part on the top here. So we just slide this in and what I do is push on this a little bit to get it to snap into place there, rather than trying to cram and force it in there. So that's all together now for loading. And what I do is put all the rounds down there like this and hold this. Then I can just pull this lever and it'll feed the rounds into the magazine. So now it's loaded. Take it apart. I push on this lever here. Get that off. Comes off and got a loaded magazine ready to go. So, pretty much how it works. Pretty much the same way with the uh, CMMG. This is a magazine for uh, the CMMG adapter for firing 22 LR through AR-15, and it works pretty slick. There's another video. I'll put some links to the videos about that down below. So be sure to read those descriptions down below. I'm going to take these rounds out here. Then I'm going to load up and do the uh, CMMG magazine. And it works pretty much the same way. 
So if I have to change out the adapter here, so I gotta take that, pull that apart. Same way with this. Um, has a part that goes in. Let's see, you gotta get that to hook into there. Push the button here. It snaps into place, holds it in place. Then um, this one's a little bit different. You have a uh, kind of a tab here on this side, and what that does is it catches into this uh, little latch or notch on the magazine right here. So that will get you oriented correctly with this. Uh, it's not as obvious as the other one is. So push the magazine in until it snaps, it's in place. Open up the hopper, throw the rounds in. Then uh, shake around here and get them lined up. Got them in there. I can turn this back up. So, got the magazine loaded. Got to pull this tab up a little bit or push on it so you can remove the magazine. And we've got this one loaded up and ready to go. So, that's how the uh, speedy loader works, and it'll load a lot of different kinds of 22 um, LR um, firearms and magazines. Uh, they've got a wide variety. You have to check out their website, and I'll put a link to their website down below. So, apart from that, uh, if you have any trouble with how this works, if it jams on you or anything like that, Sometimes when it's new, it's kind of a little bit sticky. Uh, wear things in, they kind of work better as they go. If you get that problem, recommend this uh, Remington Rim Oil. It's a Teflon-based oil. And you can do is just spray some of that in the hopper there, and that will lubricate things up uh, so it will work pretty smoothly. Now they recommend you use the Teflon or the Remington Rim Oil because this is made out of Lexan plastic so any other lubricant could be harmful to the plastic and cause it to disform or melt or whatever so want to make sure you're using the right lubricant if you're going to do that so and that's about it for this demonstration now we'll get into some of the more details of this I just want to insert here that you can shoot 22 LR ammo with an AR-15 it just requires a special bolt adapter and a magazine. And that saves a lot of money on ammo and you have fun plinking with your AR-15. We make these special easy loaders for loading those magazines. They're available in four colors, black, blue, green, and gray. See the video links in the description below to learn how easy this is and where you can get the easy loaders. Now you can save a lot of money on ammo and essentially get two rifles in one. Okay, so here what I wanted to do is to cover with you some of the caveats and uh, some of the complications like what I ran into. Now originally I did a video on this HC mags high capacity magazines for the Ruger 1022 and that's been having some problems with their production. They haven't kept up with the demand uh, so others are coming out. Uh, in the meantime somebody emailed me and said, uh, have you heard of the McFadden speed loader? And I said, no, I never heard of that. So I googled it and I found McFadden in Ireland and I thought, well that's a long place to go. So I kept looking around a bit and I found this one place uh, called Cheaper Than Dirt. Many of you probably heard about them. And I checked out a few other sources too that had these um, McFadden speed loaders. So. Uh, eventually I wound up ordering it from Cheaper Than Dirt in Texas and I had a difficult time trying to go through and figure out what to get, what adapters to get and so forth. They weren't very clear in their descriptions on the website there. Uh, so I bought what I thought would be the most reasonable fit. And so I ordered them, got them in and found out that this is fine but the adapters wouldn't work at all. I couldn't fit them to any of my magazines that I had. So I found out that looking at the uh, materials that came in the package with it, like this, and I found out that they're located, uh, McFadden machine, 
in Blairsville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, Blairsville was right in my backyard, They're about 35 miles from me. So I called them and talked to them, and they says, well, just come on in, and we'll show you what you need to get. And so I did that, and they got me set up with the correct adapters. Now, the adapter for the CMMG magazine for that uh, bolt for firing 22s through AR-15s is a number 2 adapter, not what I had. So we got exchanged around on that. And then as far as the uh, 1022 Ruger 1022 rifle magazines, they said that they don't work well with the Ruger uh, factory magazines, something to do with the slant on the lips and so forth, and how this loader works. But it does work great with Butler Creek magazines and a lot of other brand magazines that are aftermarket for the Ruger 1022. So, got that, and now everything works just as slick as can be, very nice, and works very good. So, keep that in mind when you go to get that. And I'll put the uh, name and address and phone number to McFadden Industries down in the description below, so be sure to read that description down there. A lot of great information and links down there. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some inspiration from it. And maybe you'll get one of these McFadden loaders for yourself too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and please subscribe, hitting that little red icon down in the bottom right corner of the screen, and then hit that bell icon so you won't miss anything. Also, please share it with your family, friends, and other outdoors persons. And please give us your comments. We'd love to hear what you think, what you want to see, uh, what your ideas are. Thank you.